to my channel. I am so happy that you are here. Today we are doing a travel edition video. We are talking all about what I bring when I go outside the country in my wallet. So if you wanna go ahead and see, stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel. I do budget relating videos on my YouTube with a little sprinkle of travel. So today um, I am going to show you how I am setting up my travel, my international travel wallet. So if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification button so you don't miss a video. And if you were returning, welcome back and thank you guys for, for joining me today. So today, let's go ahead and get started. So it has been really, really, really crazy. I leave for Costa Rica in the morning. So while, when you actually see this video, I'll probably be back already, back at home. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just get right into it. All right, so the wallet that I will be um, fixing and setting up with you guys today is my Cross Lawn. I think I'm saying it wrong. I'm not really sure, but I know it. Um, it is the Cross Lawn wallet and I got this off of Amazon. It was like $20. I will link it down below because I think I'm forgetting the price. But yes, so I have it in pink. My little sister has it in like mint blue and my older sister has it in like lilac, I think purple or something like that. Well, we all have the travel wallet because we travel a lot. Um, but this is different from my other wallet. My other video when I went to Miami, this has a little bit more compartments. So let me go ahead and open up. So as you can see here, it has the brand name. It has like an area where you put your pen. It has two pockets, one here, one here it has some slits right here to put some cards and it has another one and these are for like I think believe like sim cards or something like that you can put an ID here then it has a slit to put a boarding pass and then you turn it this way it has like a zipper for coins and then this is for like another, and this is like another pocket. And I also like this because it, it you can wear around your wrist. So this is basically how it looks like without anything in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I like to do when I'm about to travel. So here is my passport. So what I'm gonna do, I usually like to have my passport in this part right here, okay? This is where I like to have my passport. We are gonna be taking stuff out of my everyday wallet. This is a Moterm A7 planner, but I use it as a wallet. So when I am setting up my international wallet, I take some stuff out. So let's go ahead and I did put some sticky notes on some stuff, you know, just for privacy reasons. Go ahead and put that right here. And then everything else stays in because all my cash and all that other stuff, we are traveling. So I'm gonna be using my travel fund. So every all everything else stays in here. I put it in my safe. And when I come home, I put everything back in here, ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and put this aside. So now that we have our passport in, we're gonna go ahead and start putting in our ID cards. Now I like to, um, travel with an emergency card i always travel with an emergency card this is for emergencies only yes i have an emergency fund but this is like if something really does happen like like i don't know but i always like to travel with a credit card for emergencies so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put this right here All right, so the first one, my second one is my Capital One um, check card. So what I do is I like to um, put $100 aside in my checking account um, with Capital One, because that's where I keep it. And I use this just in case if I'm like running low on money, I can just use this. So it's kind of like spending money. Let me go ahead and put that in there. And then I have my ID card, which is my license. I know I have my passport, but I just like to do it just in case. Now, all right, so now that we did put everything in here, we're gonna go ahead and talk about my vaccination card. So everything's kind of covered for privacy reasons. I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside. All right, so for my vaccination card. All right, next is my vaccination card, but you know, I had a, style it up a little bit. I had to, you know, make sure it was well 
fashionable for you guys. So I've been eyeing, me and my sisters have been eyeing a special shop from a special shop. And um, we wanted these vaccination covers, but every time I went on, they were sold out. And I was so bummed. But then um, somebody really special reached out. Her name is Budget Treasures. I know you guys know her. She is everywhere. She's like an OG, you know? She has a shop and uh, basically she wanted to send me some. So I wanna show you guys how they look. So mine's in here and also my sisters are also in here as well. So let's go ahead and open it. We have been waiting for these things so long. All right, so this is my little sisters. This is mine. And then this is my older sister, okay? So these, how they look, and I love it, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my vaccination card in here and I know it's gonna look so pretty. Let me do it backwards, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, let me do it. Mm, let's do it like this so you guys can see the lettering. But yes, so now we will have this in our in our purse and I will give this to my sisters. And the crazy thing about it is my little sister, it's we're actually going um for my little sister's birthday, but my little sister thinks it's just me and her. <laughs> and she has no idea everybody's going so I'm traveling with her tomorrow by herself and um, by ourselves and we're actually gonna meet everybody there and surprise her so I will be taking this with for my older sister because she's already there uh, living her best life so yes I will take it so I want to thank you so much budget treasures for sending this to us trust me I my sisters are you don't understand they were like we got it <laughs> they were they wanted these so bad because they're so cute guys go visit her shop she has phenomenal things i love the budget treasure she is so nice and yeah she has some cute vaccination covers so go ahead check it out all right guys so now that i'm done with the vaccination covers i'm gonna go ahead and put this aside i'll just leave it right here all right guys so we are not done yet we still have to figure out the whole money situation and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and go to my travel fund all right so in my travel fund i am going to take out let's see um, we'll take out three yeah we're gonna take out three hundred dollars we're gonna take out three hundred dollars in travel fund fun so what I like to do is I like to put it in a envelope um, I like to separate my US dollars from any other currency that I may have and since I am NOT using a boarding pass I usually use my phone I usually put it in like this okay so that's how I do that and then so I can show you guys what I do with my currency is we did exchange it. This is the one in here is my sister's half. And this is how it looks. And I wanna show you guys, cause it's so colorful. I've never been to Costa Rica. So this is just so interesting to me. So I, um, look how colorful it is guys. Like this is so cool. But um, we have, we exchanged $100. So what we like to do is exchange $100 in whatever currency or wherever country we're going to, their currency, and the rest we leave in US dollars. Um, so that's what we wanted to do. So $100 US dollars is like 62,000 colons in uh, Costa Rica. So yeah, so it's just so cool how this looks. So um, this is five mil colones. I think I'm saying I don't know, I'll ask my girl. That's how that looks. Isn't that so cool? That's so cool and it's so colorful too. And then let's do the this one. This one has a shark on it, guys. It has a shark. Can you see that? It has a shark. So cool. And then this one, look at that. It's just so colorful. So awesome. So. Yeah, I am very, very much excited. So what I like to do is paper clip this like that.
And then I like to put it in this second part right here. So I want all my money to be in the same area. Of course they're separated, but I want them all to be in the same area. And then um, since once we get into, if you have never traveled international before, when you come in from the US and you're in another country, you are, you're supposed to sign some forms. Um, and usually we always have this problem. Me and my family, we get down, me and my, my siblings, we get down to a place and we have no pens, right? So what I like to do is I always like to bring one pen with me. So during that time when everybody's scratching for pens, I have my pen in my little wallet. I do my little form or I even get to customs and everything's just peachy, you know? So yeah, so let's just go over everything. So what I have is a pen, my passport, two cards that I will be bringing with, bringing with me, one for emo emergencies only. The other has $100 that I keep in my account just in case. Um, and then this one has my license. I just like to carry it with me, any ID. I understand I have my passport, but we'll see. I don't know, I might not bring this. I might, yeah, I might not take this. I'll just take my passport. And then I have my $100 in here. I usually put it in where they put the, the boarding pass. I do not carry uh, the boarding pass. I use my phone because it's so much easier. Um, and then I carry the currency that I did change right here and I will keep my change in here. So yeah, so that's how basically I set up my wallet for me to leave and, and I will be adding my vaccination um, card, but it will be in my purse, but not in my wallet. So um, I'm not gonna be actually holding the, this $300. I'm actually gonna break it up into some smaller bills and then put it in there. Um, but I will be doing that tonight with my rollover money. That's what I like about rollover money. You have so many denominations, but I will be changing out at least $100. And then, yeah, so that's basically how I set up my travel international wallet. And then it closes fine. And you can add, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you guys. So in this pocket right here, I don't really, so in this pocket right here, I don't really use it a lot but you can add your phone. You can actually add your phone in here and then, but without the case. Don't, girl, don't do it with the case because it's gonna be super tight. Um, without the case, you can put your phone in there and you can hold this. So if you're online at customs or whatever, you can literally put your phone in there, close everything up and just walk. So you don't have to have your wallet out. You don't have to have your phone out. You don't have, just put everything in there, hold it with the wrist and you are good to go. So yeah, so this is guys, this is my travel wallet. I have everything in here that I'm going to need. Yeah, so everything snaps perfectly. And look, it, it doesn't even look full. And I just put a whole bunch of stuff in there. So yeah, all right, and that is basically all for today. If you like this wallet, I will go ahead and link it down below so you guys can look at that or purchase it if you guys want to. And don't forget to check out Budget Treasures shop. She still has some amazing things. And I wanna thank you Budget Treasures for sending me these. I'm so happy. And yeah, so that is all that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with Mel Budget Travel Edition. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.